Hello everyone and welcome to a Cooking with Linux uh, install and today uh, Coda is going to install and uh, run Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, the latest version of Ubuntu that just came out just recently here. And uh, it's so simple that uh, she's going to do it. She's the one that's going to run the entire installation. She's going to do everything. She's going to tap all the keys and make everything work and, um, and then she'll give you a little tour of how this all works. Okay? You all set? All right. <laughs> All right, so let's just jump in here and see what we've done in terms of creating our virtual machine on which we are going to run 18.04. We're going to create the domain, so to speak, and we're going to boot this guy. We're going to boot this guy, and we're going to go straight to full screen view so that you get to see the glory of the whole entire thing as it's happening. All right. I'm going to have a sip of Coke here. Coke Zero, actually, to be exact, but there you go. I know you're disappointed. I was supposed to be drinking wine at this moment, but I'm drinking Coke Zero. What can I say? Ubuntu 18.04. It is beginning. It is starting. What exciting things shall we see in just a moment here? I'm waiting for exciting things to happen. Oh, but boom. There we go. Install. Well, the install language we're going to use is actually we're going to install it. We're not just going to try it because try would be running the live version. We're actually going to install this thing. So let's install it. I'm going to click install. And English is what we're taking, and uh, I'm perfectly happy using an English keyboard because that's what I'm running here. So that's what we're going to do. All right, take a look at this. Normal installation, web browser, utilities, office, software, games, and media players. But there's this minimal installation thing that we could do, which is the web browser and some basic utilities. I guess this creates something like a Chromebook where, you know, you're primarily working in the browser as opposed to anything else. But we're going to do the whole shebang. We're going to do the whole thing. And we're also going to download updates while installing Ubuntu. And we're going to install third-party software. Yes, indeed. Let's go. All right, continue. I'm excited. Are you are you excited? I'm excited. All right, erase disk and install Ubuntu. Yes, let's do this. And of course, this is a virtual machine, so I'm not really worried about it erasing the whole disk. So let's go on, shall we? All right, Toronto. Yeah, Toronto. That works for me. <laughs> Guess you picked up on my location reasonably well. My name, Marcel Gagne. Computer's name is going to be, oh, let's just call it Ubuntu. Oh, no, no. Let's call it uh, Bionic. Beaver, because that's what it is. It's Bionic Beaver 1804, Bionic Beaver, M-A-R-C-E-L. Yeah, let's take that. And my password is S-E-C-R-E-T. That's not my real password, S-E-C-R-E-T, but it is what I'm using here. So, you know, I know it's a weak password. I know that. And the install begins. Fast and full of new features, the latest version of Ubuntu makes computing easier than ever. Here are just a few cool things to look out for. Yes. All right, what are those cool things? Well, you know, we could just read this whole thing, or I could just accelerate this and let the installation happen fast so that we can get on to uh, taking a look and seeing what this thing looks like. What do you think? almost makes it look like we're running the, near the end of the installation here. Running grub install. Grub, of course, is the uh, grand unified bootloader, which is what starts up the system. So it looks like we're near the end, but there's still a fair bit of white space at the end of that install bar at the bottom. All right, so now we've gone through our install process and our virtual machine is now up and running. So we've got Ubuntu 18.04 all done. So let's log in, shall we? S-E-C-R-E-T. Yes, I know it's not a very good password. We went through that. All right, just to make things interesting here, we're going to switch to full screen view so that we've got a better look at what's happening there. And the first thing we see is a what's new, a what's new in Ubuntu 18.04 works differently from older versions. 
Well, one of the big things, of course, is that it's running GNOME as opposed to the old Unity launchers. So that's uh, that's not new, new, but it's it, but we knew that was happening. We knew that it was new. No, we knew that it was happening, as in they were going to get rid of that, and it was all going to be GNOME from here on in. Uh, let me see. We've got a Windows switcher here, which is labeled Activities. That sounds very KD-ish. Application menu up along the top, uh, clock and calendar, system menu, apps button in the bottom, launcher. Looks pretty good. Let's click next. Uh, live patch. Yeah, let's do that. Let's set up live patch, shall we? I kind of like the idea of things happening all the time in the background. Uh, C-C-R-E-T. Uh, let me see. Marcel at MarcelGagne.com is in the... Do I actually remember what my password is? Haha! -ha! It seems I remember my password. Excellent. I'm all set. Live patch is now on. Let's click next and see what happens. Help improve Ubuntu. Yes, sure. What the heck? Send info to Canonical. I'm perfectly happy with that. You can use software to install apps like these. All right. Well, we'll open software. Our software is just over here. That's the Ubuntu Software Center. We will do that after the fact. Done. Okay. Um, updated software has been issued. Do you want to install it now? Sure. Why not? Let's do that. Let's click install now and um, see if there is actually something new. It's not popping up, which leads me to believe that there really isn't something new at the moment. But here we are, Bionic Beaver, the cool Bionic Beaver desktop is up and running. Um, and uh, let's uh, start taking a look around here. We've got Firefox web browser in our list of applications, uh, Thunderbird Mail for an email client. Our file manager is here and um, there's nothing obviously in any of the folders at the moment. If I open these guys up, obviously there's nothing there at the moment. Um, let's just close that for a moment. Rhythmbox is our music player. Oh, actually, let's just check something out here. Let's open Rhythmbox and uh, let's just put that down here for a second. And um, I don't know, let's, uh, let us open up Firefox. Let's open up Firefox as well. All right, so here's our, um, our menu at the top here. And of course, if I go to activities, it opens up and makes, oh, there we go. The software in this computer is up to date. So there really actually wasn't anything to install because it happened while the system was installing. Firefox privacy notice. Yes, I excellent. I love my privacy. Thank you so much. So if we click on activities, we get basically the whole screen. So we get to, we get a look at what's happening. And of course we have, um, we can open another desktop here. Type to search, type to search, integrated search. Let's say calendar, calendar. There we go, calendar. And let's see what we've got for calendar here. Let's try adding something, shall we? Oh, look at this. Uh, we're expecting rain, apparently, on the 6th of May, which just happens to be my birthday. Hey, but let's, uh, let's do that. Marcel's birthday. And, uh, you know, because, of course, you know, I, I don't want to forget my own birthday, but apparently it's going to rain for a few days. <laughs> it's going to be raining for a few days. That's all right. That's all right. Actually, if I look out the window, right, today is May the 4th. Oh, by the way, May the 4th be with you. Um, and uh, I don't see any rain at the moment, but it is kind of windy and it does look like, you know, something might happen at any moment here. I did this, by the way, I did this. So let's minimize this. I did this because I wanted to go up here and see what was happening. There we go. Um, well, we've got an unknown artist in title. Uh, what do we got here? The sixth. There we go. So we've got our calendar and uh, we have uh, the information up at the top here. And of course, I don't have anything playing, but let's go back to activities here for a second, shall we? And uh, did I close Rhythm Box? I did close Rhythm Box, didn't I? Oops. Um, I'm going to close that right now and I'm going to reopen Rhythm Box for a second because although I do not have any playlists on the system at the moment, um, I could go to online sources and uh, let's see um, radio, online radio stations. Uh, nine jars, news, music. Um, sure, sure. Let's go with music. We've got two music stations here. There we go. And we can play ourselves some music on here. I don't know if I've actually got the volume turned up on this thing at the moment. Let's turn it up. Do we hear anything? Um, I don't hear anything at the moment, but if we go up here, it tells me, oh, tells me that uh, it's another one artist playing. All right, oh, additional multimedia codecs required. All right, well, I suppose we could go and install those guys. MPEG-4 AAC decoder, that takes us into software, and uh, GStreamer multimedia codecs, yes, let's install them, and S-E-C-R-E-T, 
And uh, I'm sort of bouncing all over the place here. Let's do that. And I know that I'm probably going to want to install these guys as well. So that takes us, by the way, into the um, that takes us into the software center, which is right over here as well. And of course, a whole bunch of featured applications which are available through the software center. Um, shall we try and install? Um, let's try and install something like Skype, shall we? Let's click on Skype. And uh, one Skype for all your devices, new features, new look, all Skype. All right, there we go. We've got a picture of it here. And uh, it's considered stable, version 8.20. So if we want to install it, we just click here. And the installation just happens. Of course, it wants me to authenticate this because, of course, it wants to make sure that I'm the owner of the system. And that's actually about as difficult as it is or as easy as it is, depending on which way we want to look at it, to install software uh, through the software center. It's actually pretty nice. It's pretty easy. Featured stuff is being shown here. Um, and um, Hedge Wars. Hmm. Might have to try that one for a Super Tux Cart. I do love Super Tux Cart. And yes, I still love Super Tux too. Great stuff. Um, all right. Uh, our help screen there. Amazon. Amazon. Is this like the Amazon store? Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, okay. It just opens up a page um, in Firefox. I was half expecting that there might be a an Amazon app, but apparently there is not. There's no Amazon program. It just opens up the store, which is fine. I'm cool with that. No problem. Uh, yes, I'm happy to close the two tabs. And um, let's also uh, bring the software center down here. We'll close the music on this one. And let's go down here and take a look at show applications, shall we? There's the other big button on there, which shows us what's actually installed on the system. Now, Skype is not fully installed yet, obviously, since uh, we do not see it there. Um, what if I actually type Skype at the moment? Do I see it? No, because it's not installed yet. But of course, it tells me that I can install it uh, from the software center. So I could open up the software center. Did I not already click install for this? Cannot install Skype. Snap Skype. Install Snap. Change in progress. Hmm. Cannot install Skype. Snap Skype has install Snap. Change in progress. That's an interesting comment. All right, installed, installed. It's showing me a, a, a red dot up here. Oh, okay, well that went away when I did that. Updates, um, oh, okay. That means that Skype is now installed. Okay, I was just impatient. I was just impatient, I apologize. So now if I scroll down, there we go, there's Skype in there. And of course, there's another button here for frequent, which will show me the applications that I've used uh, more often than others will appear over here. But let's go back to all for a second and we'll launch Skype just for fun, which we just installed from the uh, software center. Click and, um, okay, I'll minimize you. I'll get you out of the way there. And uh, we are firing up Skype in Bionic Beaver. This is not an endorsement of Skype as the instant messaging choice. I just wanted to pick an application out of the software center and install it to see how that worked out. So it's not because I'm telling you that you need to love Skype or you need to use Skype. It's just because, you know, it's, it's what I picked and uh, it hasn't started yet. I guess I'm just being impatient. I apologize. There we go. Skype has begun. So Skype is installed in, uh, in Ubuntu. Uh, let me just click the X in the corner here and let's just do uh, something else fun here for a second. So let's take a look at our um, change background. Uh, what do we have for backgrounds? We do not have a lot to change in backgrounds. So this is the settings dialog that opens up here. Uh, let me get rid of the settings dialog for a second. Actually, um, let me see. Uh, organize desktop by name. Let's not do that for a second. Um, let us instead uh, go over to Firefox, which I just closed a moment ago there. Let's click on Firefox and open it up. And I'm going to show you a really cool site. If you want some wallpaper, pixabay.com. It's one of my favorite places to go and look for great images and great content. Like for instance, this one here. I'm just picking something at random. Blueberries, I do love blueberries. I do love blueberries, free download. Let's click download here and um, um, I'm not a robot. I'm not, I'm not a robot. Uh, I... Wait a minute. That, hang on, let's try that again. Download. Ah, there we go. I couldn't see the download button. I'm not a robot. I'm not. So download that. So we were download the image and I'm going to say save the file. 
And uh, there it is, it's already downloaded. So let's minimize this for a second and uh, let's go back to changing our desktop background, shall we? Actually, let's not do that. Let's go up here and let's go into the settings this way. All right, background. Why did I do that? Just for the heck of it. Actually, I do not see my background as an alternative there. So let me minimize that again. And instead, let's open up the file manager. Uh, this may be because my uh, the scaling on my desktop here is not the best because I'm running it in a virtual machine. But but let's go back into files for a second here into my downloads. There's my downloads. There's the blueberries that I had for my download. I'm going to right click there and I'm going to say set as wallpaper. And uh, there we go. We've got a nice blueberry wallpaper for our Ubuntu 18.04. This is a long-term release, by the way. Uh, if we uh, Let me just reopen. Um, remember, Pixabay, it's a great place to go. Oh, by the way, another great place to go that you actually do need to go to, youtube.com slash free thinker at large. If you're already watching this on YouTube, then you know about this anyway. But, but... See over here, see over here as it opens up, you're gonna see this bright red button here that says subscribe. So please subscribe, share with your friends, your family, your dog, your cat, your neighbors, your fish, your enemies. It doesn't really matter, share it, tell other people to subscribe, leave thumbs up, leave comments. Let me know that you're out there paying attention, okay? I would really, really appreciate that. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go to ubuntu.com. And uh, again, Bionic Beaver, uh, the latest release, 1804, is actually an LTS, okay? LTS is long-term support, which means that this thing is good or will be supported for the next five years until 2023. Is this, yeah? Yeah, 2018, yeah, that's right. 2023, it's going to be supported for a long time. So there we go. Um, that is, you know, that is a short version of what it looks like right now for Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. And, um, and, uh, I hope that this gives you some idea and perhaps you'll give it a try yourself. I have to confess, okay, I have to confess here. And in fact, I'm going to, um, I'm going to alt tab here and, uh, let me see, I'm going to alt tab and, and. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I did an alt tab here and I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to leave full screen for a moment and uh, let you in on a secret. I'm actually running uh, 1804 here as well. Although in my case, it actually looks a little bit different than what you're seeing up here, but that's because I'm running Kubuntu, K-U-B-U-N-T-U, -U -U, 1804, as opposed to Ubuntu 1804, which is what's actually running over here. All right, in the system. So I'm actually running 1804 at the moment, but uh, but Kubuntu as opposed to Ubuntu, which I just gave you a tour of. And that's where I'm going to leave it for today. One last thing, if I can beg for your uh, for your uh, patience. Cookingwithlinux.com is my site. I have several sites, but this one is the one where I try to concentrate on Linux and open source software as opposed to other things. Let's click on one of these stories. See where it says become a patron. If you like what I'm doing, please consider supporting my work or as I like to put it, my habits. I've got a uh, begging video here on patreon.com slash Marcel Gagne. Take a moment to watch it. If you would like to help support me, please do so. Become a patron. There are lots of different ways that you can do it. Um, from, you know, as little as a dollar and one cent per month and uh, to, uh, you know, lots of other things and uh, including, you know, whatever you want. I mean, I, if, if you want to spend a humongous amount of money, I'm willing to raise a glass to you on one of my videos. All right. So there you go. <laughs> That's it for now. This is where we leave it. Thank you very much for watching. This is Marcel out.